Okay, well today we're talking about data-driven decisions. 2010s were all about like data, like let's get data. And you're either like driven mad by it because you're drowning in data, which I would say is where we mostly live. We have so much data and the key problems that we end up having are the data is not there when you need it or like accessibility is difficult. What I need to lead my business effectively every day is probably 12 to 15 lines. And the problem is the way it all comes together is challenging to look at. Do you track average ticket? Do you track sold hours? Do you track number of options? All of those can be good, but in the wrong context, they actually still might not tell you everything that you want to know, which is quality of those options. So like you're still like you're looking at all the data in the world and you still don't have the thing that tells you how effective your training is. Part of the problem isn't necessarily like, do I have data at my fingertips? Yes. Do I have the right data at my fingertips? Maybe. And and is it meaningful? And how long does it take to cobble together? And then do you tr do you trust the data that you did select? One of the top problems I'm hearing from everyone is that we need help tracking our KPIs. We need help tracking our data. You guys said it. Sometimes it's we don't know which KPIs to track. Once you do all that work, then it's the question of is this data right? Is it accurate? I see it as a huge, huge issue. And John, you mentioned this, like looking at too much data can be a mm -hmm. problem to where you're almost procrastinating by looking at too much data before making a decision. And I think most CEOs are, like you said, just that gut check on what are the 14, 15, 20 things that I just need a quick read on and yeah. how are we performing against goal? And most importantly, how can we get our, our people to own these numbers? What are some of those kind of really key metrics that you have seen that have absolutely blown you away, either surprised you and or you just think like this is a silver bullet for most owners? Yeah, so we, you know, running this service Titan as a service type company, we've been surprised at how much KPI work we do. Right now, for many companies, after their accounts receivable is done, we will pull all of the reports and KPIs for them and then put it, at least for now, into a spreadsheet that we can look at month over month. And it's like what John said, just a quick shot of like how we're doing. Obviously on the company side, you've got revenue to budget, you've got gross profit to budget. But then when you look at the company and the department numbers, you know, high level, of course, revenue, gross, gross profit, number of jobs, number of zero jobs, and obviously breaking that out by install, service, maintenance, office, marketing, sales. I think data can be fun. I think there can be a co competitive element to this or a reward system. And then most importantly, how can you alert everybody about their performance? You know, managers hate to micromanage and employees hate to be micromanaged. So I think there's a world where you can use data to have better one-on-ones that are more, more authentic, that are productive, that are meaningful. Making sense of the data is such a huge need, but what I see is the real problem is, is it accurate? Is it actionable? I think that's what we're missing a little bit in home services.